The entertainment world was rocked this year with its share of tragedy. Topping this 2008 list of the most shocking events was the death of Heath Ledger. The Australian actor succumbed to a drug overdose at a Manhattan apartment. This was definitely one of the saddest moments um, of the year in entertainment, Heath Ledger's untimely death. Heath was one of our most talented actors, and it just goes to show you, you got to be careful what you put in your body. His last film, The Dark Knight, is close to a billion dollars in ticket sales. Well, hello, beautiful. You look nervous. In Chicago, Jennifer Hudson's mother, brother, and nephew were killed. You know, Jennifer Hudson was sitting where I'm sitting in this very seat in our studio, and she talked about her love for her family. When I go home, my mom is, I'm just Jennifer, okay, you get up and you take care of your own stuff, you know, and I love that. She was just saying this is all American girl, started on American Idol, and all of America was rooting for her. So to see something so tragic happen to somebody who's so talented, so nice, and so young is just devastating and shocking. She just proves you can be at the height of your professional fame, and it can be all taken away by personal tragedy. Paula Abdul had someone die in her driveway. Paula Goodspeed may have killed herself after being ridiculed as a contestant on American Idol. She had tried out for Idol, and the judges dissed her because she really wasn't that good, but her brother said that it was her undoing, and she was crushed, and she couldn't believe that her idol, Paula Abdul, had put her down. From there, the girl went downhill, and she committed suicide outside of Paula's house. How far in this process? Yeah. Right? Travis Barker escaped death. The former Blink-182 drummer was involved in a fiery plane crash. He and DJ AM survived. Others were not as lucky. Travis Barker already hated flying. Um, he was in this awful plane crash, lost his best friend, and now he says he'll never fly again. And can you blame him? I'm not a bells and whistle kind of guy, or I'm not a guy to beat down or to build up. I, I, my comedy has to come from my heart. The unexpected loss of Bernie Mac made the New York premiere of his latest film, Soul Men, bittersweet. Samuel L. Jackson pays tribute to his co-star. I had to pick something and say, you have one more film to do, Bernie. What do you want to do? This would be the perfect film because we get the Bernie Mac that came in our houses every week. We get the Bernie Mac who was the king of comedy, who was very profane and kind of, you know, to the point. And we get a new Bernie Mac who's singing and dancing and doing stuff that we've never seen him do before. Be careful, fool. I think you don't even want to know how to hold him. Margie Zaraleta, The Associated Press. Oh, no, 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 no.